Here we have a small desk calculator called the Multifix. It's a machine that looks a bit like a pinwheel machine, but it actually uses an oscillating segment mechanism, very similar to the EOS or the DEMOS. It has six digits of input here. You can twist these uh, wheels to set a number. To add this number to the main register, you first have to ensure that this switch here is set to plus, and this switch here is to the leftmost position, the calculation mode. And then you can just pull the lever and it will add that number. There you go. Each time you pull the lever, it adds that number and increments the counter. You can shift the carriage to the left. There's an indicator here that shows you that you're now in the tens position in the counter. So if you add the number again here, it increments that digit. And this allows you to do some multiplications. So I've now multiplied this input number by 24 and the result is here. To do subtraction, you simply have to flip this switch to the minus, and then pulling the lever will subtract and decrement the appropriate digit here. To clear the registers, you move this switch from calculation mode to one of these two clearing modes. In the middle mode, it will only clear the counter. If you move it to the right-hand side, then it will clear both the counter and the main register. You can also clear the input. To do that, you need to use this button, the C button, clearing button. And when you're in one of these two clearing modes, you pull the lever, push down the C button, the clearing, input clearing button, and return the lever. And that clears the input, as well as whatever registers you've chosen. In this case, both of these registers are cleared as well. So that was addition, multiplication, and subtraction. You can also do division. That's a bit more complicated. Let's do the standard division of 355 divided by 113. So 355, let's move that all the way to the left. You can use uh, pull this to shift any amount instead of shifting one by one, one step using these. So, shift it all the way to the left, addition mode, add that number, and now I'll clear the counter and the input, and set 113, and I want to do division, so I have to set this to subtraction mode. And also, I have to move this small uh, knob here to the right. That sets the counter to, sub uh, to count subtractions rather than additions. Uh, set to calculation mode. And here we go. Three. Now this, these three digits um, are smaller than 113, so I shift to the right.
There we go. So the result is 3.14159 with the remainder of 33. So let's clear all of this. This machine also has back transfer, which is this button. The earlier versions of this machine did not have that. That first model was called the E1, and this one is called the E1R. The R meaning that it has the back transfer mechanism. So let's, uh, let's put in a number. Okay, so we want to transfer the number that's in the register here to the input. To do that you have to set it set this lever to one of the clearing modes, it doesn't matter which one. Uh, you have to have this set to zero. So if it isn't, you have to uh, yeah, just put this in the middle and quickly clear clear that, clear the counter and clear the input. To transfer this to the uh, input register you have to uh, hold down the R button and pull the lever forward, release the R button and move it back. And that transfers that number to the input. Note by the way that this, uh, this R button only works if you are in addition mode and that this is also to set to the left for normal additions. So. You'll notice that these input wheels, they have these teeth on them. Those are actually the ones that are used in the mechanism itself. Half of those teeth are on the left and half are on the right. So one set is used during the addition and the other set during the uh, subtraction. When you switch from addition mode to subtraction mode, the carriage shifts very slightly to shift from set using one set of uh, teeth to the other set, the complementary set. And the same is actually when you move this switch, that changes the teeth that are on the drum here for the counter. It switches to, from one set to the other. So this uh, yeah, this machine was made by the company called Den Norske Stansefabriek. That was founded in Oslo in 1932 and moved to Lillesand in 1946. Soon after that they uh, attracted a Swedish engineer called uh, Willy Spanberg, Spengberg. And uh, yeah, apparently he designed this machine. It seems that he was a, a former employee of uh, original Odner, which was owned by Facet at that time, but I haven't been able to corroborate that. Uh, so he designed this machine, and after that he also designed uh, an adding listing machine called the Compta. Uh, that machine was not so successful. Actually, even this machine even though it's considered a success, I don't think that many were made. It seems to only have been sold in Norway and in France. Uh, uh, this one was sold by uh, Dactylos in France, who were the uh, resellers of this machine, uh, the sole reseller in, uh, in France. And nearly all machines you find were either sold in Norway or France. Apparently they were also sold in other countries, but in very small numbers, I think. I suspect that uh, this company, the Norske 
uh, Stanza Fabrique didn't really have enough contacts in the calculator world to fully market this machine. So Willy Spenberg, he also designed an adding listing machine after this, which was not so su successful at all. And uh, yeah, after that the uh, company declined and in 1985 they went bankrupt. A uh, consortium put together by the uh, former employees and other investors, they managed to buy the company and restart it. And uh, yeah, in that form it's still successful today. The, uh, it's now called the Staffa uh, Group and uh, yeah, they make various metal uh, products like uh, electrical cabinets and car parts. So this was the Multifix calculator. Thank you for watching.